Flightline is a four-year-old Colt. We bought them at the Phasic Tipton Saratoga sale. The industry overall is excited because this horse could be one that they're talking about a hundred years from now. A potential star here, Flightline, wins by double digits while wrapped up. John and the horses he's had in the barn, Accelerate, Stellar Wind, Catalina Cruiser, and then for John to come in and say, I've never had a horse like this, it's like, Really? What does this mean? Has the talent. Is this the next superstar? What sets him apart is he's just a special horse. He's got the insides of a champion. Looks like one of the big stars going forward. Flightline being what I'm going to call a generational horse. You dream to be undefeated. You dream to have that season that you hit all of the big bucket list races, but all roads will lead to the Breeders' Cup. The journey has been incredible. We all think that the journey is just beginning. All stars align. Like, it, it was my first time ever going to Saratoga and wanted to take in everything that I could. And so I asked David and Gordo, like, could I go to this cell and it's going to work out perfect? And so he and his assistant were great with, with ushering me into that, gave me my book ahead of time. and. It was just amazing, like just going into the facility my, for my first time. I had no idea. Gorgeous setup, and I wanted to pick a horse, but that was not going to happen. And but I was constantly texting Costa, John, and David Z. I'm like, we need to get a horse. Then all of a sudden, it, they got in my ear the night of the sale that I was there, and we've got a horse that we're gonna make a bid on, and so just poker face and <laughs> so John Sadler trains a flight line I remember getting a call from John I don't know two or three weeks after we uh, after we flew him out to California and he said I think we might have something special here I think it turned out that John Sadler was right on and he was he was correct to the nth degree he came out of the Fasig Tipton sale in, in August at Saratoga he was uh, a beautiful horse up in the sale, and, and we we're lucky enough to get him. Our team, David and Gordo, and his team um, did all the looking and checking out, and I okayed it. We had seen Flightline quite a bit as a yearling. So when he showed up at Saratoga as hip 80, it, it wasn't the first time that we'd ever seen him. But it put kind of the exclamation point on the fact that we needed to own him. Flightline is a four-year-old colt. We actually put a group of people together three years ago. We bought them at the Phasic Tipton Saratoga sale. And uh, Bill Farish, I remember, loved this colt. He, he had a beautiful profile, a wonderful and a deep Phipps family pedigree. And you know, we thought he was a real standout. So we don't usually spend a million dollars, but when you see one like Flightline, you need to call in all your forces, and I remember that night, that's exactly what we did. So it's three years later, but I will tell you, the investment and the wait have been well worth it. Yeah, that's that's going to be one that, that is solid in my memory books. First sell, Phasic Tipton, absolutely beautiful. And then to come away from that, first experience with Flightline, and that we're a part of his journey, it, it was an experience of a lifetime. For the Fasig Tipton August sale is a very good sale. A lot of top horses come out of there year after year, so it's a sale you've got to keep your eye on. We put a partnership together for this horse. Um, it's great to get a bunch of people in on an expensive horse. Spreads the risk a little bit, and we got a great group of owners in this horse. Jane Lyon, who's a breeder, wanted to stay in, and it was then became our job to put a deal together to buy the horse. We knew he was going to be expensive. Um, John Sadler had told me that he wanted to get the Horonises in on this type of prospect. And Terry Finley is the easiest sell I ever have on anything. He's there with the money. Terry pulled in Anthony Manganero from Sienna Farm. It was an easy partnership to put together because the people are wonderful. And here we are today. Flightline is a four-year-old colt. Took a little time for us to get him to the races. He got his first start in the spring of his three-year-old year. You really take it moment to moment, workout to workout. 
because you don't know the first race, like, is he going to get out of the gate okay? And they're off. You watch the workouts and everything, but still, until, like, pressure's on and getting saddled, getting to the gate, getting out of the gate. They're approaching the quarter pole, and flight line has opened up. And then seeing him go and how his body went and how fast and fluid. His name is Flightline, and he is long gone. What a dazzling display. I mean, literally, jaws on the ground. And like, I don't even know if we really cheered very much because it was just the awesomeness seeing him come around the track. A potential star here, Flightline, wins by double digits while wrapped up. That was just the chills. Then race two, it's like, is he going to do that again? That was, for me, the big question is, can he do that again? John and, and the barn and everyone, Caesar Adolfo, keeping a really good eye on him. Flight line goes in, they're all set. Seeing how Flavian intentionally had him kind of lean in on a horse when they were going around the second turn. Flight line, these two stride for stride. And he did it again. Is this the next superstar? Another giant box checked off the that horse. Like, it looks like the, this is really happening. And then the Malibu opening day at Santa Anita. As Flightline turns it on at the top of the stretch, and he's going to turn this into his easiest win yet. Flightline. Just, just phenomenal, and he stepped it up. Congratulations to you guys. It is Flightline romping in the grade one Malibu. <laughs> So we're at Belmont Park before the Metropolitan Mile, and uh, we have Flightline in our midst. You know, I think the industry overall is excited because this horse could be one that they're talking about a hundred years from now. This is unbelievable. The intensity and the focus is just incredible. And they're off. And Flightline has opened up a four-length lead. An eighth of a mile to the finish, and Flightline is the leader. Flightline is in full flight. He had a slow start, but a terrific finish. We won the Metropolitan Handicap with maybe the best horse I've ever seen. You know, most times in life we have this vision and it never comes true, but this is even better than the dream. Toast Flightline, of course, and to compliment Jane and the entire team. Right. They're here. Thank you. Thank you.